The city of Pinole is temporarily banning new gas stations from being built, part of an effort to cut down on gas emissions. Now, it's not the first city to put a ban on gas stations in place, but some organizations are saying that these bans could lead to higher prices at the pump. Here's NBC Barrier's Pete Serratos. The city of Pinole is the latest Bay Area city to ban new gas stations, and city leaders tell me that it's a part of a larger plan to address climate change. A ban on new gas stations in Pinole is catching the attention of residents like Marcus Maxwell, who feel a bit torn about the idea, but understands why it's happening. We are going towards electric, a lot of electric vehicles, right? The Pinole City Council recently voting unanimously to pass a temporary ordinance banning the building of new gas stations. It's a part of a long-term plan to both reduce emissions and make room for alternative fuel sources, with California banning new gas-powered cars by 2035. Really uh, make sure that we as a community um, welcome in EV charging, uh, welcome in hydrogen hubs. Pinole is the first East Bay City to enact such a ban. It is temporary and it will give officials time to gather information on the effectiveness of this ban. Well, our staff and our council has talked to several different businesses and people in the public about this, but we know we got to continue the conversation. But not everyone is on board with the ban. In a statement to NBC Bay Area, the Western States Petroleum Association says good climate policy would not force people to drive further for the fuel they need. Gas station bans are effective at only one thing, limiting supplies of fuels to consumers. When government policy limits supplies of fuels, costs usually go up. The association cites a working study out of UC Berkeley, focusing on more than 1,000 gas stations in Mexico, showing a 6% reduction in gas prices when stations are three minutes apart. Pinole's temporary ban on new gas stations expires in 45 days, but the city can renew the ordinance for up to two years before voting on a permanent ban down the road. I think this is very symbolic. This says to people that a small city like Pinole can do tremendous strides around climate action and innovation. In Pinole, Pete Serratos, NBC Barrier News.